And I also wanted to talk about this, which I feel like is maybe a, a different sort of point to talk about when it comes to the whole like, you know, Megan Thee Stallion, Kylie Jenner thing, or no, Megan Thee Stallion and Tori Lanez, not Kylie Jenner, but I'm going to come to Kylie Jenner. You know, the story and the trial around it is boring, you know, whatever. Get to the flipping verdict. I'm tired of that whole shit bang. But just thinking about it overall and remembering the crib, because I remember when I saw um, pictures, I think it's an article courtesy of Daily Mail um, from 2020. It says a home fit for billionaire Kylie Jenner pays $36.5 million for a lavish resort compound in the Holby, Holmby Hills as she adds to her impressive property empire. This woman's got an empire and she's what, 25, 26 or something? Or no, how she must be now? Maybe 25 if that was 2022? Absolutely incredible. So I remember seeing this when it first was sort of like, you know, leaked to the media that she bought this amazing home. And the one thing that I really loved about it was this weird little kind of open um, plan patio type of vibe thing going on. You don't really see it if you don't listen to the pod, but essentially it feels like there's like, one big version one big side of the house that's like a main house then towards the back of it there's like this rectangle um swimming pool that also has a kind of guest roomy bar thing behind it also kind of in front of it but it's all kind of open type plans so they've got these really massive kind of floor to ceiling window type things that you can kind of look out on so you can effectively have different people sleeping on these different sort of pods room things there on the side here with the curtains but it's also got the ability to have a pool but it's also kind of separate from the main home and i remember again not being a, the, the biggest fan of this kind of architecture or interior design style i feel like it's very la very shiny loads of chromes loads of granites loads of grays loads of golds and silvers and slates and whatnot that kind of weird kind of la show home type of thing that doesn't really have any warmth any kind of um familiarity love um you know story and narrative around it it just feels like nice things that would look good in a magazine or a catalog put together in a show house but with no real kind of love and warmth to it whatsoever you kind of think of you know Ken, Ken, Kanye's house with Kim that was kind of you know made to look very sparse not many belongings anywhere and basically looks like an art gallery and this is kind of the same sort of vibe maybe a bit McMansion-y style but still I remember seeing this first when it kind of got leaked that she bought this crib and thinking this house looks really nice I just love this bit this bit is probably my favorite this kind of you know that kind of um rectangle swimming pool thing with the it feels like canapé villary type villa type pods on the side and it kind of just felt like the best place that you could invite guests or friends over, right? You got this amazing, like, open plan sort of vibe. You got these beds on the side of the pool that you can lay down on. Not nice lights underneath the pool. I think most of you would be familiar with the video. If you remember the video of Megan and Kylie and Tori in the pool, you remember this sort of scene with the blue LEDs and the light shining and whatnot looking amazing. So the one thing I can't understand for me, this whole story, is that imagine being invited to Kylie Jenner's crib and from what we've been told or what we heard from the court cases the flipping bottles were running free they had like what's that don julio right on tap it was legitimately on tap or obviously on tap but they had bottle after bottle after bottle i'm assuming you know families like that they probably especially when you consider how much tequila they will drink and you know they kind of promoted that brand really well i'd assume they probably get some of it free but a lot of it just they pay for it because they're just fans of the alcohol and I'd imagine also if you're somebody who commits to being a beautiful social media influencer where you essentially have to you know you sell your you know your attractiveness and your, your ability to be hot is your currency so you have to maybe abstain from a lot i know it doesn't require a lot of talent to be the connections but you still have to commit yourself to like you know fasting more most of the time you know you know cutting out all the other snacks getting lots of cosmetic surgery all these things are not easy to do but your only vice maybe you could kind of, you know, dip your toes into might be some tequila and maybe some other class A substances, right? But for the most part, they booze a lot, I feel like, because it's the one thing they can do after they've kind of been strict with, you know, making sure they avoided the junk food and all that sort of malarkey. So you get invited to this crib and it's just booze on booze on tap and bottle after bottle of bottle is coming. And you get involved in some sort of spat if you believe the rumors to be true, especially after the recent day, I think now with EJ, I think who's the former stylist of Megan, which is interesting, right? In this court case, there's a lot of former 
on Megan's side of things. I wonder if they're going to do that with Tori. They're going to bring some of these former friends because I feel like off the back of this whole affair, she fell out of a lot of her friends that were there. You know, Kelsey being a best friend, EJ being a the stylist. They all kind of fell out of each other. So that might say for her, you know, ability to keep friends or not. Who knows? Who doesn't care? But the main thing is that I think he was saying at the event that there was loads of bottles on deck and they were just there to have a good time it was more of a gathering and less of a party i guess they don't like to have the turn party because they don't like vagabonds turning up and trying to vibe also but you know there's mention of security guards being in the tuck which is crazy because you never see them anytime you see an instagram clip of kylie jenner's go viral or kylie kendall jenner you never ever see the security but they're always there you know um in the corner somewhere on their iphone playing flipping i don't know some games or, or watching something on espn but when if shit pops down they're ready to pull out the blicky and get flipping active but i just can't imagine being in a crib like this and the first thing i want to do is start to get spicy and you know get a bit aggregate get, get a bit um, agitated and let the liquor take over me and be in a mood and whatnot that wouldn't be the first thing i'd be in if anything at these type of events i've said it before that i kind of pride myself on being like the best house party guest i feel like i am i feel like i don't overstay my welcome i feel like if you invite me i'm going to bring drinks and some other stuff i'm always going to be willing to share i'm always going to you know have the funnies have the jokes on deck and just be a kind of a good person to kind of have a house party the kind of crucial person you need that's not going to be all up in people's faces trying to hook up with people just trying to just enjoy the vibe of everything and i think i do that pretty well but there are some people who don't necessarily care and just kind of the same way they'd act in the club they'd go and act at somebody's house and i can't again maybe your home girl's house fair enough but kylie jenner's house come on bro like that would just be like for me especially not being a fan of, of the family that much and just you know not caring for them as people but also being intrigued i just want to just observe them from afar and just see how they interact how they talk what they talk about you know whatever it may be that just that would be the most or how they interact with others especially their staff members and whatnot um their homes what they might have little trinkets those things will kind of fascinate me more like maybe they might have some flipping crazy piece of artwork on the wall somewhere that will be like oh my god you've got an original cezanne in your flipping living room <laughs> like that might be cool to check out but me get absolutely sloshed on the booze is not something i do maybe after the third or fifth visit that you've been there they welcome you back again you might be like, okay cool now time to relax and get lit but for the most part i just want to be a good company right like be able to pour some drinks maybe be able to rustle up some food or something right just be a good helping hand know what good playlist to put on put some people onto some new artists that they might like and whatnot that'd be a sick way to go about it but i could never imagine the first thing i'd want to do is get so lit that i end up you know getting into some sort of altercation at least to me being shot in the foot that's the last thing i'm thinking of doing but just looking at some of these clips or some of these pictures taken from the daily mail of the inside of kylie jenner's mansion and it looks absolutely beautiful to be fair that bit like i said that bit on the outside is definitely my favorite where it's got a swimming pool that kind of looks open planish type of vibe and you know the ability to basically separate people and you can basically stay in this side of the home and let people do their thing over there is absolutely incredible i like that if anything i'd have it both ways i maybe have them you know i'd maybe have the house i think basically if you think about it like a like an equal sign so in the equal sign you've got the two bars and then those two bars will be the blocks the kind of houses so that would be east wing and and west wing and in the middle you have a swimming pool so you could basically separate you know the house in that kind of way that'd be pretty sick and each kind of place could have its own entrance to go into also but i just like i said i just cannot imagine walking into such an expensive shiny place and the first thing i want to do is get lit to the point where i'm involved in the shooting it just wouldn't happen because this would be marvelous enough to look at like i already get you know wide-eyed when i go to like a you know a private members club like a soho house or whatnot or like what's the other one ned here in london that we have right and so a few others you're just kind of observing the flipping architecture and the interior design and the upholstery you're looking at some of the program notes and whatnot looking at the pictures of some of the celebrity people that walk through that's the first thing you're kind of fascinated about but you're not you know there to get like super white girl wasted i would imagine you're not anyway that's my impression but you know certain people go about things differently but if anything this whole case should be a reminder for people to try to be the best guest you can be at these events especially at house parties because you know because it's a somewhat comfortable arena you can get a little bit relaxed you can feel a little bit like you can you know not be as pent up or maybe as shy as you would be in the club and be a little bit more loose but if ever if anything you should probably be more on point at a house party than you should be in the club 
really if you think about it you should be paying more attention because usually i feel like the bad ledgers of people usually stem from things they've done at house parties not clubs you know someone has like a bad impression of you it's maybe something that you've done at a house party maybe you open the door you know when to open you're being too handy with the fridge or with people you are asking weird questions and just being ratty and annoying and com- you know combative and confrontational i feel like all that stuff usually happens at house parties i feel like in clubs you can get away with kind of a lot more because people can't see you you can maybe find a corner to mong out in but in house parties you know think of those kind of houses that they've got right the kardashians with all these lights all over the place right it's very very well lit um, i'd hate to know what the electricity bill at these places are but you can't really get away with much when all the lights are there the cctv everywhere security cards everywhere and there's probably at least three or four people there that are rock solid sober you're gonna see everything that you do and any kind of you know you know little slight that you say out there but you know whatever happens with the case happens with the case but i feel like being a good guest is probably the lessons to take away from that thing because you know who wants to end up in a flipping shooting that's absolutely crazy